Just got here, you got a montage on YouTube. Fight Club TV just uploaded it. Word? Quick react content? All right, let's see if Fight Club TV picked the juicy stuff or not. Brian F. Oro uploaded it nine minutes ago. Let's see. Top Oro players currently. Broski, Brian F, Gunfight, Oro, Pippi, and Profit. Okay. Pretty decent list there. CN's trying to break into the Oro Club too. I, I see CN doing some work recently. BRI 4NF, that's me. This was like last night. This game was like last night. I'm not exaggerating. Uh, this is on the stream from last night. <laughs> he just made this then. Yeah, you got kind of styled on there, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. He always starts these with the perfect? Okay. This round's a little sloppy, but there is something interesting in this round, I remember. I never know how to punish that. I need to... I always have to remind myself, is it negative eight when standing or crouching? And, and then what the punish should be. That's the interesting part. The loops right there. So, if you don't know, so all the Aura players have been trying to learn the jump cancel buffer loops. That's what I'm calling them. Jump cancel buffers. So, that sequence, I was pretty proud of it because it made use of that. So, once I get in... So here, I set up the plus frames, and then uh, this medium kick is actually jump canceled, which let me then cancel the EX Fireball. During this time, I'm holding up back, and then I buffer my next neutral medium kick by pressing medium kick a little early, and then it lets me cancel another neutral medium kick into a charge move. So both of those were jump canceled. So that's a little subtle detail with that. It lets me frame trap mid-screen and do a lot more damage if the frame trap lands. I, I hold up back while I'm waiting for the time to press medium kick usually. You you have to do hold up back and then when, when the buffer ends, you need to be not holding jump. You need to be holding back or down back or in neutral. That's kind of the trick. You buffer the medium kick while holding up back, and then when, it re when the buffer ends, you should be standing, not holding up. Oh, this was from WNF, so this was Grand Finals. Or no, this was Winner's Finals. Loser's Finals. <laughs> this is Loser's Finals of WNF recently, and uh, Samurai switched to Karen. I beat his Luke 2-0, and then he switched to Karen, he actually got the first game. I think this is the second game where I robbed the sheesh out of him. The sheesh. I think it happens this round. Oh, that was footsies. I forgot about that. Oh, this stupid interaction. I knew that this could happen, <laughs> but it's never happened to me in tournament. So I immediately start charging the charge fierce to get like the max damage punish, but you need to like walk backwards a little bit to keep her in the corner. And then the shit just whiffs entirely. You know how annoying that is to happen in tournament? That was very disappointing. I was like, I'm about to smoke him. Oh, wait, no, I'm cornered versus Karen. Cool. Maybe that's why I rob him so hard, because I was salty about that. And yeah. <laughs> I should have taken the throw. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that one. I played the fifth. Oh, don't include this. You can't put the whole game for this one. This is going to be where the, the, the prettiest combo is, but this game was so ugly. Like, this guy played so weird, and it was just so ugly. No, this is a blight on the video. You should have just put the one se segment. I don't know what happened there, to be honest. See, I was just dropping. This probably becomes way too close for comfort for no reason. This Chun-Li confuses me every time I see it in action. Wh why? 
What is this? <laughs> I'm just flabbergasted while playing this. Do I even lose it? Do I lose this round? Is that what happens? Oh, I drop it. No, this this can't be. I must lose. Yeah, I lose to wake up Crouch Fierce. Oh, it's so ugly, bro. You should not have put this whole game. <sighs> no, this game is disgusting. I don't even like looking at it. Like, I missed my DP there. It's, it's irritating me just looking at it. See, I messed that up. Everything was just getting ugly. But I saw an opportunity. I had an opportunity and I took it. Was was the payoff worth it? I hope so. Oh, this match. This was not too long ago either. Snake Eyes hopped on a ranked and I was like, okay, I have to play a Zangief that knows what he's doing. What do I do here? Do I just spam fireballs? Big mistake. Missed hit confirm. Yeah, somehow Snake Eyes was playing for a little bit and I got matched with him while he was playing Geef. Footsies though. Yeah, good hit confirm. He's dead there. Every every game I think went back and forth though, so he he's probably gonna take the next round. Let's use again. I won the set, but it was super close. I was not winning comfortably, I'll say that much. Look at that range. Such a master of the range. Like, I did not think I was in range of command grab there. Uh, jump to jump, that's a KO right there. Oh, ah, I was hoping I picked that up. He was very persistent with the jumps, but I was also persistent with the fireballs, so... Makes sense. Yeah, I never felt like a Geef like actually bulldogging his way in before. Because most Geefs I play with Oro, they just crumble and fall apart instantly. And then I just spam fireballs from full screen because they have no concept of like walk and block and using your positioning as pressure. So Snake Eyes is doing that and I'm like, ah, shit. Like, I can't just do whatever I want. Like, I actually have to know how to control this ground game or else that'll happen. And that can be death instantly. So I was a little like, oh crap, I'm trying hard in the Geef matchup. I've never done that before. Like, because these poke trades, like he's forcing you into a range where you're playing the, the, the buttons game, and then Geef can actually contest with the buttons. The jump at the range where I can't stay any medium and Crutch Fierce is questionable and I don't have charge, so I can't really anti-air comfortably. The far range jump-ins, you know? That's where he overextended. I could have killed. I know the more optimal combo now. If I have him in the corner, instead of doing medium chicken feet, chicken feet. Um, yeah, I timed him out there. It was it was done. But instead of doing that, this combo, I definitely could have done something that would have killed him. Now I know if I get them to the corner. He, at this point, I would do standing medium punch into light DP. And then I would do uh, medium fireball into super. And that does like... A, 
like five more damage, maybe less depending on the scaling. It could just do one more damage, but it might have been enough to kill. He has he has more than one pixel of health, so that's at least two or three hits of health, maybe five. So it might have killed if I had done the more optimal combo. But uh, yeah, once once that happened, I was like, it's literally over. It doesn't matter. But he he still styles on me with the walk up 720. So yeah, I would have done this combo. Oh, not that one. Like that finisher. Might have killed, maybe not. Who's to say? All right, I think that's it for the Fight Club montage. Decent matches. It was cool to go through these matches again. A lot of these like literally just happened. So it's pretty funny to see how these immediately came up like that. But yeah, shout out to Fight Club TV. Cool montage. Good games, good games. I'll give it a like. I was gonna say you did my boy Brian after already with the Chun-Li clip with the combo with the last round made it all worth it. <laughs> yeah, that was such an ugly game. Ugly game.